All right, hi everyone. So I'll talk about the submandibular gland now. And uh, so like we've addressed before, the submandibular gland is part of the examination that is expected in the face. And the very first thing, like the other glands, I'm going to make this one shorter because we've covered some of the reusable knowledge already. So the very first thing is wiper. And I've addressed wiper in my other videos, but I'm going to say it again. So it's wash your hands, uh, introduce yourself, uh, take permission, position, expose, and reposition. So once you've done that, uh, the next thing you want to follow is the IPPA principle of examination. And the IPPA principle uh, does not all of it would be needed in this examination. So uh, so the eye is inspection. So you want to quickly inspect the region of the of the submandibular gland. So the submandibular gland from the name is in the submandibular region. So you want to inspect that region quickly. And there are lots of videos for what you should be looking for, scars and things like that. And like I said, our teaching is focused based on giving you a script to follow uh, so you can deliver your OSCE in a very good way choreographic manner so once you've done that you will inspect externally you want to inspect internally specifically for the duct and other lesions uh, sometimes you also want to express the duct you know the duct of the submandibular gland is the Watten's duct is um, down there and then after you've done that, you want to palpate. I've covered uh, the, uh, the nursery rhyme you can use for that. And that's the, should the children ever find lump readily. Uh, so with that said, once you've done that, uh, you want to do a few techniques with the submandibular gland. You want to ask the patient to uh, push their tongue to the roof of their mouth like this. And try and feel the gland whether it is it is attached to uh, when you're palpating the gland you want to palpate using should the children and then you want to ask them to do that to check for fixity uh, after that you want to also palpate the duct intraorally for things like stones you can also feel if the duct is ticking and all other things like that whether the duct is tender as well. Uh, but be careful not to cause too much pain. Finally is what we call the special test. Do not forget that there are two parotid glands and you must be seen to be assessing both and comparing. Uh, so the special tests specifically are the nerves that supply the, that are related to the gland. And you have the marginal branch of the of the trigeminal nerve you have the lingual nerve and you have the hypoglossal nerve this tree also you should try to test then you some people would advise you you offer to do a parotid gland exam and you also offer a full ear nose and throat examination you just need to offer to the examiner so let's quickly recap um, in the examination of the submandibular gland share similarity with the facial nerve you go through wiper then you inspect external to the gland and internal to the gland uh, externally uh, and internally and then you internally you're looking at the doctors it? then you palpate also externally and internally you palpate remembering the should the children ever find lumps readily and once you've done that um, you want to also remember the maneuver to to move, check whether the gland is fixed, asking the patient to push the thumb to the roof like this of the mouth. And then once you've done that, you want to assess the nerves related to it. And that's the marginal mandibular nerve, the lingual nerve, and the hypoglossal nerve. Then you want to offer to do a parotid gland exam and a full ENT exam. I hope you find this video helpful and useful.